There are no cars without flaws. This once again made us convinced by the XC60 crossover, which has very few negative reviews. But we just roamed the wrong forums. There is no serious crime behind the car, but there are several rules that you still need to follow when buying an XC60. The car was first shown at the Geneva Motor Show in 2008. Outwardly, a typical Volvo, but no longer devoid of sharp features, which at first even somehow dissonant with the image of the brand that produces cars for strong business executives and wealthy pensioners. The XC60 is based on the S80 and V70 and therefore uses a similar Haldex all-wheel drive system. The center console has been redesigned here. Regular buttons, replaced with a touch screen. The city safety security system that appeared here was also recognized as a useful thing. The car is able to brake on its own at the side of danger. The car was equipped with a number of engines, gasoline 2.0T, D5 and T6 with power from 203 to 306 horsepower. Diesel engines with a different number of cylinders with power from 136 to 220 horsepower were also popular. Gearboxes were 6 and even 8 speed automatic. There was also a 6 speed mechanics, which, however, did not receive much distribution in our country. You can safely choose any motor, to your taste and budget. However, first of all, find out which one is with a timing belt and which one is with a chain. With a ladder, these are mostly diesels, there are fewer problems. The chain especially under the supervision of servicemen, does not bring surprises. But the belts are torn desperately and selflessly, which can lead to even more serious problems. Spare parts for Volvo, no matter what they tell us in the company itself, are noticeably more expensive than the weighted average prices for other, sometimes even premium brands. Considering that the cars of the first years of production have already migrated over 100,000 kilometers, when buying, you need to make sure that the belt has recently been changed, and if the chain has been tightened. If the belt was not touched at all, then change it first. There is one more point worth mentioning. This is a particulate filter, again on diesels. He can cause serious trouble. And it costs a lot to replace it. However, according to indirect signs, it can also be brought to clean water. The fact that the filter is clogged will be indicated by a problem with starting the engine, jumping speed and increased fuel consumption. So when buying a car, you should not yawn. Turning to the transmission, it is worth noting that here you cannot encounter any problems at all for quite some time. This, however, does not mean that they will never be. Shocks when switching the machine to D mode or when connecting all-wheel drive will hint at the need to go for diagnostics. Before it's too late, the problem can be fixed by flashing. To be honest, in order to stumble upon complaints about the quality of the paintwork and problems with the bodywork, we had to pretty hang out on the forums. Volvo is still being painted with high quality, and problems with corrosion are possible so far only on cars that have been unsuccessfully repaired after an accident. Leaks, scuffs. This is not about the XC60. The same is true in the salon. Even harmless crickets are mentioned only by rare owners. But you can't say the same about the electrician. There is something to grab onto here. For example, many complain about the weak wiring of the rearview mirror drive. From frequent use, it frays, and the heating element of the mirror itself fails. The drive of the fifth door does not always behave correctly. Its renovation is also not uncommon. But the real disease of this model, if such a definition is generally appropriate for it, was the failure of the fuel pump. The culprit of the malfunction is usually not the pump itself, but its electronic control module. You can determine the malfunction by changing the tone of the engine, a problem with starting, and in general by the fact that the engine began to suddenly stall for no apparent reason. In a word, you already understood that there are no contraindications to buying a Volvo XC60. The only thing you need to do here is to be sure of yourself. In the event that an exception to the rule occurs, something will seriously break down and it will come to replacing the units. Few will be able to quickly overpower the purchase of an engine or a gearbox in a financial sense. Volvo remains a fairly expensive brand, although it loses a lot in price in the secondary market. But in any case, the safety margin of the XC60, regardless of the type and power of the engine, is noticeably higher than its competitors. Perhaps you ask, why didn't they say anything about suspension, steering, brakes? Yes, it's too early to talk about it. The above nodes are still included in the asset of the model, and there are negligible complaints about them. It can be summed up with a completely banal statement that weaknesses and shortcomings can be found in almost any model. But the Volvo XC60 has avoided many misfortunes and occupies a very worthy place among its competitors. Hence, apparently, the main drawback is that the price is too high, even in the secondary market. The suspension layout is classic, McPherson struts at the front and a multi-link at the rear. 
All wheels are equipped with powerful disc brakes with a ventilation function. The parking brake is electrically driven. The suspension is set rigidly, but due to the rigidity, the Swedes have achieved special tenacity in cornering. Does the transmission start making noise when shifting? More often than not, the problem is in the software. Flashing heels. But a serious repair of the automatic transmission also happens. There is another problem, the Haldex clutch oil pump clogged with deposits, typical for fifth generation clutches. To avoid shocks and delays, it needs to be washed every 5 to 10,000 km. Haldex 6 removed the issue. For turbo diesels, when buying, the first place to look is the turbine. Or rather, to diagnose her condition. If a specialist is suddenly not nearby, you can determine the state of the turbine by indirect signs. Namely, increased smoke, a drop in power during acceleration, the smell of oil fume, excessive noise, the paintwork will not resist scratches and chips, but the body metal is protected from corrosion at the highest level. During operation, a knocking trunk lid, damage to servos, and even roof leakage in the area of the navigation antenna can detect themselves. Although the latter is a rarity, early in its career, the XC60 suffered from weak cooling fans. No, the fans themselves are in order, but something went wrong in the control system. The cooling efficiency decreased and the coolant temperature began to rise. However, it's not worth talking about this, the problem was solved, and she met for a long time.